it is another beautiful day in ohio and it is back to back time this is my buddy jd's 2022 gas gas mc350 it's got brad from rideworks did the suspension up front it's got 6500s in ride ride engineering triple clamps full of Kropovich exhaust and it's got the pro component rear shock that's actually off one of my old bikes and it's got some trick wheels this is dave's uh, uh, 2023 20, YZ450F Brad at Rideworks just did the suspension on it. Of course, it's got right engineering triple clamps and a full Kropovich exhaust. We're going to do the Woods Loop. 350s are my favorite overall balance of power and handling. And I'm real curious to see how close I can get this monster 450 now that Brad has done the suspension. How it'll work for me in the woods. And I've been I took a couple warm-up laps on it and man it it just feels so much better than my stock suspension I feel like I can charge it's got absorption and it just keeps those tires planted and one big thing is when you're going slow now we kept the stock spring rates so they're full-on moto spring rates but the stock suspension is really pretty stiff when you're going slow but with Brad's revalve this thing is so good I think I'll be taking my 450 there next week because I really enjoy this 450 it's probably my favorite just to interest wise because it's it's got the mass centralization and, and this crazy motor. It's just so responsive. Now mine, when I bring it in here, a lot of times I put a what I call my 350 map in. It's super dialed back. Just gives it a little more smooth response but this is the smooth linear map which is still very responsive man these forks are good very good too cool man so fast all right we'll see what it does here Two forty five five two forty six five eight. So two forty six six. All right. Let's get it on. Let's get on the gas gas. Okay, I got map one. A little softer. I guess we can turn traction control on. That'll make it a little bit better. Two forty six six. Two forty six six. Let's see what it'll do. Wow. So much smoother power. <laughs> and that pro component rear shock is plush. And this bike, ah, oh, these, this previous generation 350 is still my, oh, it's just, it just feels like a, it just has so much agility. <laughs> Feels like a gassed up 250F. Whew. Gonna lose that front there for a second. And I love the ergos on these bikes. Now these bikes feel light because they are light. I know KTM when they went to the new chassis gained some weight. 
but this one's still the lightweight and this is pretty much the same as my Caleb Russell 350 oh man nice power is so smooth I'm just kind of modulating and clutching second now this is the motorbike so yeah, I can you can use first in the real tight stuff Now, Brad, put the 6500s in the forks on this. And the cool thing about 6500s versus cone valves is 6500s use the standard exterior tubes. Cone valve exterior tubes are thicker, heavier, it's a little th firmer. So you kind of give up a little bit of that feel. Man, these 350s just run so smooth. It'll be fun to see kind of what the lap times look like. Oh, gotta remember to stop. Okay, 246.6, 2.43. So, 3.6 seconds quicker. All right. 6,500s, done by Brad at Rideworks. Man, those are good. Honestly, probably better than cone valves because you get a little more, you got the stock tubes, so you get a little more flex. This Pro Component Shock, really good. Planted. Grabovich, quiet, good power. 450, man, I cannot believe how good this suspension feels. I gotta get my bike to Brad. That is a lot of fun. Anyhow, back to backs. Two of my favorite four strokes. Two thumbs up.